Hi, today I want to talk about a do-it-yourself luminescence meter or lux meter and I use the ambient light sensor from Rome Semiconductor, the BH1750. And to make our ESP32 portable, I also use a LiFePo 4 battery, this time in the AAA size. And it have only 280 milliampere hours. But that's enough for my small setup. And for my breadboard setup, I just use the sensor in a module. The module came with a built-in BH1750 and also a small 3.3 low dropout voltage regulator. And on the module, there's also the address pin available, so you can change the I2C bus address for the sensor. And maybe if you like, you can wire up up to two of the modules. And here you see the overview of my wiring, the LiFePo 4 battery, the ESP32 and on the GPIO pin 21 and 22, the I2C bus, there's the wiring for the OLED display and also for the ambient light sensor. Now let's have a look to the bench. First, let's see the BH7050 module. This is the front side with all the components and on the back side we see there's only the silk screen with the pinout readings. And here are the LiFePo 4 batteries. First the big one in the 18650 size. Then we have here the medium size or AA with 700 milliampere hours and a very small one in a AAA form factor. It's only 280 milliampere hours. And my advantage of the usage of the Leaf Hippos is now I have a portable setup, even if it's on the breadboard. Now we can play around with our luminescence sensor or ambient light sensor and I just start by using my LED torch to light up a beam to the sensor and we can see the different readings in the OLED display. And just for fun, we can cover the sensor so that we can see the reading goes down to zero. And this torch has three different modes, a very bright mode, a dim mode and also a flashing mode. And now let's change the torch. I have also a ultraviolet or UV lightning torch and we can test this on the ambient light sensor. And as you see here, even if we focus the beam to a direct spot, the reading is not as high as with a normal white LED. And we can compare the beams on my bench surface, but you have only the feeling what's recorded with the camera. So maybe it's a little bit different for my eyes. Now let's have a brief look into the data sheet. This is the ambient light sensor with the I2C interface and we can use it direct from our 3.3 voltage from our ESP32. And for the programming we maybe have a look into the operation codes. So we can use power down, power up, we can do a continuous reading or a one-time reading and then the sensor goes to power down mode. And we also have to consider the resolution. In one mode we can have half a lux or one lux or even in the low resolution mode we have only a resolution of four lux. And here is also explained how to send the I2C messages to the sensor and what we can get back from the measurements. And also that we have to wait for the measurement the approximately 180 milliseconds for the higher resolution modes or 24 milliseconds for the low resolution mode.
And this is the code. This is our main routine. We just start one task, the bullet task, and then everything happens here. So we initialize the U8 glib from Oli Kraus and our display. And then we go to an endless loop and just print our measurement values. And this is done here. And we use a library to read our sensor data that I've written. And we can have a look here. So we can use different modes. Then we write the I square C package to the sensor with the mode. Then we sleep for the time that is used for the measurement. And then we read the I square C bus. We just get a raw value and we have to calculate the real value that is done here with the formula from the data shield. And then we print out our value and that's it. So I hope you learned something and enjoy the video. Some additional information can be found in the description of the video down below. Have a nice day and bye bye.